Three-year-old pacing fillies in the sixth race have turned to the gate. Race sponsor, the Mount Sterling Veterinarian Clinic. Gates on the move. From the rail out, Katie Bell, Irv Miller, Fancy Muffler, Tom Simmons, Tater Bob Walker, Lady Bidmore and Hart Walker. On the outside, Fancy Cat and Junior Price. Fields at the head of the stretch. Here they come. They're up and pacing. Fancy muffler on the inside. Fancy cat on the outside. The two fancies are going head to head into the first turn. Fancy muffler and Tom Simmons by a length and a quarter. Fancy cat will drop over to the rail second for Junior Price. Racing third, that's Katie Bell and Irv Miller. Fourth on the inside, Tater and Bob Walker. Son Hart and Lady Bidmore at the back. Only five and a half lengths separates this field of five. Five good, Illinois bred. Three-year-old pacing fillies in single file as they race down the back stretch towards the quarter mile marker. It's Fancy Muffler by two lengths. Fancy Cat is there second. First quarter, 31 and two-fifths of a second. Pretty slow first quarter for this class of filly. Katie Bell's racing uh, third. Racing fourth is Tater and Lady Bidmore still at the back as we race over to the 3 8 mile marker. Off of pretty soft factions, it's Fancy Muffler now by two. Fancy Cat is there second. Katie Bell still racing third. Tater and Lady Bidmore. A swing out of the turn and race towards the half mile marker. They're almost halfway home. Uh, Fancy Muffler, who just won at Charleston in her last start a few days ago in two minutes and a fifth, leads by two and a half lengths. Fancy Cat is still second. Katie Bell is racing third to half in 104 and two, and folks are going to see a blistering last half and last quarter off a half and four and two. It's Fancy Muffler by two lengths. Fancy Cat still second. Katie Bell and Chase third. Tater and Lady Bidmore single file. There goes Katie Bell. She's first to pull for Irv Miller. It's Fancy Muffler by two, and they're smoking a little now, folks. They've shifted gears. It's Fancy Muffler by a length and a quarter. Katie Bell on the outside. Fancy Cat racing third. Three quarters and 134 and four. You're going to see the quickest final quarter of the fairs thus far here. It's Fancy Muffler by a length and a half off the soft fractions. Katie Bell trying hard. Fancy Cat chasing third. Tater coming on a bit fourth. And Lady Bidmore rough gated fifth. They turn for home. And Fancy Mufflers on cruise control off those slow fractions. It's all Tom Simmons. Fancy Muffler, they win it by five. Katie Bell will be second. Fancy Cat Tater and Lady Bidmore. Last half in 57 and four. Last quarter in 27 and two. The mile 202 and one. And the connections of this fine filly. Fancy Muffler with Tom Simmons. Let's go to you, Kurt. Let's, uh, Tom, I tell you, let's just walk this way. We can walk this way. Tom, Tom's got to get a horse warmed up yet, folks. His night's not over yet. So, Tom, while we're walking along, we were talking about the pace of that race. There's the old saying, pace makes the race, and the guy on top can control it. But I also know there was something else at work. When you have fired that filly out of there, she sometimes does what? She might make a break sometimes. Uh, I've learned a little bit about her the last couple of times, so I let her take a few steps before I start her up. So uh, this track's pretty good. Shouldn't have that much problem here. Hey, when you start her up, she's good, isn't she? Good to go. Tom, good luck in the feature. All right, thank you very much. Tom Simmons will have constant change in the feature tonight, folks, in post position number one. And as he was talking about, the filly he just won with, sometimes, in fact, if you take a look in the program, Fancy Muffler, uh, her charted line from July 11th at Jacksonville will show you what Tom was talking about. He fired her out pretty fast and went to the quarter in 28 and 4 that day, and she broke stride. So Tom has learned with that filly, you kind of have to settle her down for the first half mile and then turn her loose once she gets settled and once she's comfortable on the racetrack. But as Tom also said, this track is so good, it probably would not have been a problem anyway here tonight. One